concepts. Today I'm going to build this Tamiya semi-trailer. You build a Tamiya semi-truck, you need to tow something. The semi-trailer kit is easy to build, and uh, slide this out of the way here. We'll do that today. And then uh, I'm going to do a second part, which is not as easy to build, um, and that is we'll convert this trailer into a Smokey and the Bandit trailer. And uh, I've got one of those here. We'll build one of these. I'll show you how to decal it, paint it, uh, make it as scale as possible, yet still pretty easy to build. So today, semi-trailer, next video, Smokey and the Bandit trailer. Let's get started. So we're just going to do a straight up build of this uh, Tamiya semi-tractor trailer. Thought I'd just quickly show what it looks like in the box. got this package Fenders and small parts. Got our instructions. Decal sheet, which we will use. This says metal parts. And that's got all of our small metal parts, nuts and bolts. Doors, some of the uh, upright girders, and down here in the bottom will be the long metal parts, including all the frame rails. Carriage supports. Boy, to me, it does a nice job on their kits. And all the aluminum sheeting, which is covered on one side with a uh, clear, with a blue plastic peel off covering, so you'll have one side that's not scratched. As I uh, Get ready to get started. I just thought I'd show my bench real quick. I've got uh, obviously the instructions. I took the bags off everything. I did my normal thing and dumped all the nuts and bolts into a muffin tin. All the larger parts into a little bread tin. Got my tools and everything laying in here. So that's kind of my my building operation is to get everything laid out and then just go to work. First step in our manual is to build some of these cross members. Uh, it's important to note on this trailer that there are different lengths. You see that there? The, lo the longer cross members will be the upright corners and the shorter ones will be the cross pieces. Also, one of them has got some additional holes for uh, hinges, and these do not. So these are the front, and these are the back. 
it's not a huge deal because you can always take it apart and put it back together, but if you know that ahead of time, it'll probably save you some time. These little uh, cross brace corners, the, the flat piece here has a, a notch in it, and that lines up with a, with a notch in the piece, so it'll only fit one way. And then those just screw together. So I'm going to build all these cross pieces and get them in the braces and get the hinges on there. And uh, then we'll put those on the bottom plate. I've got those two cross members built. This is the aft one, which has the hinge block for the doors, and this is the front one, which doesn't. So on the bottom plate, there's a set of screw holes that are offset up here. So that means this is the inside. If they're on that side, that's wrong. So we're going to peel this, this blue plastic material off. Okay, so I've got this cross piece. It has a slot here that just fits over the aluminum. The side piece fits on and it just slides together like that. Put a screw in there, another side piece, and then we do the back. So all four pieces then enclose this bottom plate. We'll get that put together. Now the next part is to flip this over mount these rails. Um, nothing exciting here. There's a piece that goes inside that captures the nut. The only thing is you got to remember, and I've done this, it's really hard on the black, is this blue protective material. It has to be peeled off before you bolt those down. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt those down. We'll continue on from there. The landing legs, really pretty straightforward. The tricky part is getting this spring here, the pin. slides in there. It just flips underneath that screw which I just screwed in there. That's pretty straightforward. The landing legs are, are spring loaded. This little spring just Slides in here like this. There's a plastic washer. Holds it. Just like that. This slides in here. And the spring then attaches up over that one with another screw and plastic washer. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble both landing legs and we'll get those uh, ready to mount. So I've got the spring mounted which pulls that back and our springs mounted here. So the way this works, this little cover screws on here 
the landing leg then latches into place and when you push on that it retracts. So there's a mechanism that will be mounted so when the truck backs onto the trailer when it latches it snaps this and the landing legs automatically retract. So I'll finish those up and we'll mount them. Okay, the landing legs just bolt on like this. You can see that I already bolted the other side on. And uh, Nothing special there, we'll get that bolted on. And then this uh, coupler plate, these plastic blocks mount in here. Coupler plate bolts on like that and bolts through. So I'll get that all attached. Okay, so I've got all these parts mounted. You can see how this works. The truck coupler comes in, it bumps into this, and retracts the legs. So the mechanism is, mechanism is all good. Uh, time to move on to the, uh, the back end of the trailer. The back end of the chassis is nothing terribly exciting. Um, mounted these little brackets on the fenders and they just bolt on. The uh, This little gadget is for it's actually a holder for a tire chock. So the tire chocks just sit in there and that just bolts on. I'll not do all the bolts in them. And then the, the spring hanger. Also goes in here. The assembly is much like the semi truck, only a lot simpler because you have no no drive line. So we'll get these all bolted up, and the next thing we'll do is put the axles together. I'm going to show that because that is different than the semis. The uh, springs build just exactly like the semi springs with a U bolt. Plastic spacer. And the metal plate. And nut. The uh, feet on the ends go in with a shoulder bolt. The only thing to think about here is there's two different lengths of shoulder bolts. There's a shorter one and a longer one. The shorter ones are a shinier, more polished metal. And the shorter ones go in here. Like that. We'll get those put together and then build the axles. Okay, got all the supports. Time to just finish it up. These mount the same as the trucks. Uh, the bumper mounts like this and that will complete the underside. Well, the tires and bumper mounted, the chassis is complete. Looks great. Um, this plastic piece mounts in here with tape and that way you can run wiring underneath it for, uh, for lights and such. And then we just build up the box, which is uh, pretty much built with pieces like this. And then our, our sides will slide into the slots. We'll build the back doors and uh, the trailer will be complete. So that's uh, what we're doing next. I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to mount this floor uh, with double sticky tape and then I'll uh, get assembling the rest of it. On the uh, front of the trailer here, the way these uprights work is they just 
drop over the pin. Screw holds it on. You can see how they have a slot here for the metal side panels. So this panel then just drops into position. And uh, when it's time, the cross pieces will will fit on with another corner piece like that. Everything's held together and slotted in. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the doors for the back and we'll drop those and then we'll drop the side pieces in. The back doors are pretty straightforward. I, uh, I just bolted this little metal strip on which fits over the top of these so they'll go together. The hinges mount to the uprights and then the door will mount to the hinge uh, with a little spacer underneath to space it out. And then these pins will mount in here and they lock the door with a little latch that fits in here. So I'm going to bolt this whole back assembly together and then we'll drop it on the chassis. Okay, so I've got my, my doors built. I mounted this one. They just fit on like the front pieces. Screw in here. Now, I'm not going to put any decals on this trailer. Probably do some custom decals later. The side panels, there's two sides. Um, one of them is just slots and the other one is a slot and a bump and that's actually the outside when you're when you're doing a stock trailer and it just slides into the trailer like that so slide in the other side and then we'll make the top and uh, put that on this trailer is so big it makes it hard for me to get the uh, pictures in my video frame. So I've got my cross members here and uh, I'll just get one of those installed. Sorry if I get in the way. So just like the other sections are protective material peels off and this will slot in here this one will slot in like that. I'll put the front cross member on. And then we'll get this mounted on the uh, truck. Get in there you little devil. So this makes the top, at least once I put this end in. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. We'll drop it on our trailer. Okay, for our finished top, then just drops into place. It usually takes a little bit of fiddling to get all the pieces in there. Oops. The back end where the That just drops down and screws on, finishing up the trailer. One screw in there to kind of hold everything. Slide that back a little bit so you can see it. Um, yeah, that's our finished trailer. Actually, uh, turned out pretty nicely. Uh, no decals on it right now, but that's okay. I uh, showed you four screws you can pull the top off, slide out the sides, add decals to it. That's pretty straightforward. I'm going to do a trailer build on the Smokey and the Bandit trailer next, as I mentioned in the beginning. And so what I'm going to do is start out with the bottom section all built, and then we'll, we'll uh, show how to put on the big decals, paint it, and do the smoking the bandit kind of thing. So uh, there's our, our Tamiya Intercontinental Express trailer build. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Um, look for that Smokey and the Bandit one here pretty quick, maybe a couple of days. I have to do a lot of painting on that one, so it takes a while to dry, but we'll get it up soon. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe.